Hi guys, just going to do a very quick tear down on this Poundland USB fan. Had a question about what type of motor was in it. I'm pretty sure it's what you'd call a brushless DC motor. So, have to undo this. Certainly, I'll just pull that one over. The one in there is brushless DC, and I did actually take that apart and show it in a previous video. But that's not a Poundland one, that was somewhere else a few years back. Okay, that's there. Right, now looking at that, I think that might be an ordinary. DC motor. That looks like that's just a push fit on the shaft. There we are. And it's one of those cheap little um, DC motors. Because I was saying with that one, there was no point in trying to over volt it because it would burn out the circuit board inside. Because it's got a hall sensor and a little bit of electronics to actually spin the brushless motor uh, yeah brushless DC motor whereas this one as we can see without me going any further I will go further but without me going any further that's just an ordinary DC motor uh, the same as that one Right. Well, they've used different size screws for different components. That's annoying. Means I've got to be careful where I put them. Right, so that bit comes out. And there we are, just one of them cheap little DC motors. That's interesting. <laughs> just laying loose in there. I expect if I push that, it might come out. Or it might be, it might just be squeezed in place so it won't come out easily. Yes, it will. I'll just push it a bit harder. Well, here we are, we can actually see. RF3012350. TD. 613813 DC, I think that's 5.9 that says there. And that, does that say Mabuchi? I think that might actually say Mabuchi on there, I can't see it clearly enough. I mean, that is a fairly standard brand. So in answer to the question, the original question, yes, I could run that on a higher voltage. It would probably burn it out, but I could run it on a higher voltage to make it more powerful. I don't like the way that's got no protection on it, where it's been soldered there. So I might just put a bit of tape over that before I close it back up again. But yeah, you're right. That is a DC motor. That one is not. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. 
And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.